getting our float on. Does anybody know about Tahiti Tree? I think it would be good to get here or here. We came across these golden chanterelles. Beauty. Oh, look at this big snake. That's a bald eagle. Oh, it is. We're at the lake. Hey. Oh. That's a beauty. This is gonna be good. <laughs> is that what's left of the sun? It's now down there? Yep. Good food, a lot of laughs, we caught some fish. We're gonna have to start making this an annual trip. Oh yeah. Yeah! <laughs> All right, everybody, great to see ya. I'm just at my house here. Up here I got a polar bear skull that I found in the super high Arctic further north in all of Alaska. And I found that at the mouth of the Kujua River on Victoria Island on the Beaufort Sea. Here's another thing I found and that's a muskox skull. It uh, was a wolf kill, pretty cool. It's gotta be like 50 pounds or more. We got a really cool, fun video coming up. But first, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the sponsor of today's video, Bespoke Post. Bespoke Post is a monthly membership that delivers awesome boxes of top-notch goods every single month. 90% of the products are actually made by small brands, many of which are based in the USA. Every month, members are introduced to new products such as outdoor gear, barware, home and kitchen, clothing, and more. What they'll select for you is based on a questionnaire so they cater the boxes to you specifically. Every box has around a value of $70, but the membership is only $49 a month. You'll be able to preview the box and see what comes inside You'll be able to keep the box, swap it for a different box, or skip the month entirely to the next month. It is free to join, and the box lineup is changed every month. Let's see what came in this box this month. Ultra trekking poles with this cable. It allows them to fold down and snap together like that, and then you slide this until this little clip snaps up and you get these extra parts for different terrain all aluminum and uh fold down and extend these would be good on my winter tracks i really like some of the other boxes too check out this, this machete that looks like a beast this weekenders box here looks really really well made i mean all this stuff actually looks really well made thanks to bespoke post for sponsoring this video just click the link in the description below and enter the code tedbaird20 for new bespoke post subscribers to get 20 percent off your first awesome box All right, beautiful day. Just putting in here and Tomogamy access point. Shaping up to be a really nice weekend. We are doing kind of a mini sort of loop this time. Nothing too strenuous. Going back to one of our favorite spots to go. Camping a couple of nights, doing some fishing, cook up some yummy food and do some swimming. Should be a really nice time here. We got Heather. Hi. And Jay. Hi. And Bella, of course. Got Who's the beef got jerky. the beef jerky? You got some beef jerky there, Bella? Good girl. Gonna just get on the water here. Looking forward to it. Let's hit it. In the boat. Wow, look how windswept that is. Yeah, really cool. Bigger. Yeah. Nice smallmouth.
What a nice little lunch spot here. It's perfect. What do we got here? Nice little lunch spot. Yeah, it's perfect. It's beautiful. So nice. Nice little campsite even. It'd be definitely pretty tough to get wood, but. So we just pulled over here and we are gonna have a little snack before we get to the end of the bay here uh, where there's going to be a portage. So we got three portages today. Um, nothing too much about a 350, a 325 and 100 meter. Do some fishing on the way and uh, hopefully get into our destination lake with enough time to find a campsite. Hopefully it's not too busy in there so that we can find a site and it's not taken up. But uh, so far so good, absolutely beautiful day. Today we're eating some gourmet stuff. Peanut what do we got? Butter. Peanut and butter pita. and pita. Made with this custom made GEP knives. Made this one. It's really important to use a full tang custom made knife uh, to spread peanut butter. I find it's the best way to spread peanut butter, especially on sure. pita. Um, you know, in particular because it's got a nice fat blade and you really want that so you can get in there and really get a good amount of peanut butter and uh, just spread that on there. I like to put it right down the middle like this. <laughs> Burrito style. And then squeeze it all up into place. Perfect. And then you tear it in half like yeah. that. And then you share half with your with your significant other. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Mmm. Mm-mm, good. Top-notch lunch. Fuel for the portage trail. Thank God I had this knife. There's another campsite on this little island too. Look at it, like, it's kind of private, you know? Take a couple casts here. Nicely done. <laughs> oh look, golden chanterelles. Oh yeah. We should pick some of these. Stuff our calzones. Nice. Oh, that's a look nice at those. one. Oh, this is a twofer. Beauty. They're twins. This one looks good. Nice. These are all in great shape. Beautiful. Sweet. We were just walking back on the portage trail and came across these golden chanterelles. They look amazing. So we're gonna stuff our calzones with them. And our bellies. <laughs> yeah, yo, I just found some of these. They look all right. All right, we're right here. So I don't know, I mean, I think it would be good to get here or here, like off one of these points, one of these campsites, but there is this little island site here, which looks pretty good too. We'll that... be able to see some good sunsets in the evening. I like that.
There's a kingfisher. Well, we've reached the second portage of the day. Hooray! Hate portaging, but the walk back beautiful. Totally, eh? Carrying the canoe, you don't even get to see this. Like a lot of times, you know, you could single carry, and if you have everything packed well, you put your pack, take the canoe, go, you're gone, and it's faster, and there's a lot to be said for that. But you kind of miss stuff like this. It's really pretty because you just heads in a canoe and you miss it, and you're suffering, and so even if you catch a glimpse of it, it's not so fun. Beautiful creek here. Coming along the Portage Trail on the way back, I noticed all these uh, lobster mushrooms. Do you want to add some more to the uh, the menu? Why not? This one's a little bit. It looks like it's been eaten. it's been eaten a bit. It's not bad. It's kind of rotten. They don't look good. Come up here. They're all a little past due, unfortunately. Yeah. See, unfortunately, they're they're rotten. They're, oh, this one might be okay. It's just starting to come up. Mm -hmm. No, it's been sitting under there wet. Yeah. Unfortunately, yeah, totally rotten. So that's unfortunate. What's this fungus called? I don't know what that is. Does anyone know? Some funky looking fungus. Let us know in the comments. What's this? Oh yeah, Some nice chanterelles here. Second portage of the day is completed and we are back on the water. We are now in another lake. We've got one more portage for the day, just a short one, about a hundred meters. And then we are at our destination. Whoa! Bella, Bella, come here. Oh, it got off. Yeah. I was hoping it was a huge walleye, but it was just this bass that put up this epic fight. Uh -huh. And uh, unfortunately, it got off the hook right as I was about to get it in the boat. Nice. It was a good size. It was a good eating size. Yeah, Probably like a pound and a quarter anyway. Yeah, not bad. A little action Jackson. Yeah. Where have all the walleye gone? Gone, gone, gone. Oh, there's two fish. You caught both of them? No, one's probably trailing. <laughs> oh. One's chasing. <laughs> no. Nice one. Yeah. Home to your mama. That's a beauty. Sure is. Think I'm gonna let this one go because like we got a lot to cook up tonight, so all right.
So I had a, a small bass on, it jumped off like right close to the boat, and then immediately after this beast took the freaking uh, lure and I managed to net it. So pretty action packed coming through this little lake here. And uh, we were just debating because we're planning on camping soon. Uh, we're gonna find camp and we're gonna take uh, a day off there. Swim, just really enjoy ourselves, soak up the remainder of summer. And we're just wondering like, should we camp on this lake? Cause like no one's camped here and the fishing is amazing. And it's really easy to fish this lake cause it's not that big. And like, look at how we're not even trying and we're just hammer time catching like tank bass and I know there's walleye in here but it would mean the day we have to leave is a little bit like longer of a day so what do you guys think do you guys want to do you want to stay here or do you want to go into the other lake I think if we just put in a bit of the extra work today it'll allow us to do a few more things we'd like to do tomorrow like fish swim cook explore you know stuff like that so Totally. For sure. And we could come back here and do a day trip in here if we want. Sure. Bring lunch and... Right. I vote we go into the next lake. Next lake? Yeah. I, I think I'm with them too. We let all the fish go. However, we do have lots of food to cook. Yeah. Heather, we're at the lake. Yay! Done did it. Do you think we're gonna find a campsite immediately? Yep. Yes. Best one on the lake? Yep. Yes. <laughs> Are you gonna catch another fish? Absolutely. How big is it gonna be? Bigger than you. <laughs> <laughs> Bigger than me. Here you go. Oh, thank you, my love. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> P A R T Y. Because I got it. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Nice fish, Heather. Just a little one. Small fry. Right. I was on the board. Mm -hmm. Getting to camp. Let's ram it. All right. All right. Back to the site. Island campsite. It's the same site we were here last time with our friend Jay. We just couldn't pass it up. It's so beautiful. Come have a look. Have a look. This site is already pre Heather approved. We've got this nice kitchen area here with a nice stone fireplace, a nice sitting rock for preparing dinner on. We've got a nice log bench here got a nice pine needle floor for our tent to go on and look at that view you crawl out of the tent and that's what you see so nice stunning yeah and really really nice sunsets at this site and really nice swimming and uh, great access to the water down here and then if it's windy you can swim on this side and be out of the wind only concerns of the site is it's a little small it's a very scarce of wood 
um, but it's just gorgeous. Good fishing around here too. Super nice. I'm happy to be back. Looking forward to taking a couple of days to just relax. We're supposed to have some nice weather as well. So, oh, should be good. Bella's got her dog food already. Oh, Bella. Oh, oh, what are you doing? <laughs> Bella. Oh. Bella, have you found your kibbles? Oh, what you have? Oh, thank you, thank you. Do you want to tell me your kibbles? Would you like your dinner? This is a new axe made by Agawa. I'm testing it out this trip. It's gonna be live on Kickstarter if you wanna pick one up. You can use it as a little hatchet this size or you can pull up the extension and it just snaps into place like this. Boom, like this and like this. And then you have a pretty decent size axe. Nice looking sheath on it too. Snap that open and the head is, is a good size and so it flares out if you can see this flare out here. So it's, uh, it looks like it should be pretty decent for splitting as well as chopping. What a packable hatchet slash small axe. Pretty impressive. If it's anything like their saws, it's gonna be really good quality because the Agawa saws are just amazing. So my first impression with this you get quite a good amount of torque and swing with this, like, not bad at all. Wow. Pretty good. Boom. That was a gnarly piece of wood I split up there. It's actually a root of an old piece of driftwood. So it's like all twisted and, you know, it's not exactly like straight grains for splitting. The Agawa ADK 26. I'm pretty impressed with it.
Is Ready. that what's left of the sun? It's now down there? Yep. Day. Really nice weather, a little bit of adventure on the portages, catching some fish, and uh, we ate some delicious pasta dinner with some sourdough bread and cheese. It was like an Alfredo sauce, and it was actually quite yummy. A couple of burgers as well, and uh, just really enjoyed the spot. It's amazing. We've been back to this lake now uh, three times, and we just like always kind of happened on this side, but it's absolutely beautiful the sunsets here are like some of the best i've ever experienced bella was as cute as ever and she is snuggled in the tent and she's already asleep yeah are you asleep good night belly good night and good night to you heather good night looking forward to tomorrow Uh, come here. What do you have? Come here. Come here. Come here. What do you got? Is it? Oh, fish bone. Very interesting find. Nelly loves it here. She does. Nelly loves it here. Good girl. Bella was chasing frogs and she brought me a big fish bone. It real good. How much? Just a splish. Oh man, that was a splish. I'm more of a splash. I wanted a splew.
guys. Apple cinnamon pancakes for breakfast, baby. We are taking the day off today. Just a lazy day with about five or six rounds of coffee, followed by apple cinnamon pancakes. And we actually mix the cinnamon sugar in the pancake batter this time. That's a first, and they are delicious. Then we're gonna make a brie cheese with boursin and charcuterie. And then we're gonna go for a little swim because the weather's getting nice. Then we're gonna make camp calzones with uh, fresh picked chanterelles um, for dinner and probably before that we're gonna go out and do a little fishing as well and maybe have a little side of fish uh, you know a little morsel with some uh, maybe Frank's buffalo and fish crisp so it's just a beautiful day it's really nice to just take the day off and relax um, maybe we'll make this a yearly thing mmm yummy look at belly Oh, is it time for your breakfast? Breakfast time. Yalla. I'm gonna give you breakfast. Yo, hey, girl. Hey, girl. Mmm. Crunch, crunch, crunch. That's a bald eagle. That's not a bald eagle. Yeah, it is. Jay setting up a hammock. So he, he set it up yesterday, but now it might rain, so he's moving it. Pretty nice because you don't have to have flat ground. And he made this setup himself, which is actually, in my opinion, the most impressive part of it. So you even bought all these clips and stuff? Yeah, everything is like just off of Amazon stuff. This is like a, a one wind strap with a buckle here. And then, oh, one wind uh, snake skin. I kind of put my own uh, nylon strap here because there was a thick rope that was really heavy, so I mm. upgraded that. That's an Amazon bug net, some Chinese brand, but this is a kite string here. Okay. That I use as a ridge line, so that keeps my hammock at like a nice lay. Right. So it keeps it like this every single time. I don't have to keep messing around with the straps to make it the same as the last time I laid in it. So I can just hook my tarp and move this up and down to make the tarp tighter. Nice. With this. This is just a prusik here. Cause once it tightens down with like tension, mm -hmm. you can't move this, right? Like this won't move once there's tension on it unless you pull from this. Right, to get looks, tarp. looks comfortable too. That's the tarp. Yeah. If it's raining, I would use the tarp ridge line. Okay. And I would set the tarp up first rather okay. than coming up and setting up my. Right, hammock. okay, that makes using sense. Straps from my hammock. Different situation calls for a different application. Cool. If it's raining out with that system, he can come in and set up his tarp first and then the hammock underneath. So. You know, there's no getting your stuff wet like can happen when you're setting up a tent. There's not as much crunching and crawling around. My favorite part of it would be it feels like you're sleeping outside because you're like not in an enclosed tent. And that's actually a really cool feeling. I still have yet to hammock camp myself. Uh, Jay vouches for it. He says it's cool. It's better on his back. He says that he's better than me all around just because he does it and I don't. 
I gotta try it one of these days. Jay looks really stressed. Oh, <laughs> so stressed. <laughs> It's gonna be good. <laughs> Warm cheese. Best thing ever. Oh, it's so good. Thank you, Heather. Thanks, Heather. You're welcome. Way to go. Looks beautiful, too. Pretty good, eh? We're missing a glass of red wine. Would Bella like some brie? Lucky mm -hmm. girl. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, prosciutto. prosciutto. Special. Here you go. Thank you. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me it was so cold? <laughs> Come on, Bella. Come on, Bella. Feels a lot warmer the second jump in. <laughs> Very refreshing. <laughs> it feels feels really nice. This is what summer is all about in Ontario in the backcountry. It's amazing sunny days, nice lakes to float in. No one around. The trees, sunshine, and these guys. <laughs> and that pretty brown dog over there. Get my slow dog. Does anybody know about Tahiti treat? Growing up, we had Tahiti treat here and it was like a really sugary kind of pop and it was delicious and it got taken away. I think it's still in the States and not in Canada anymore. But recently you'll be able to buy Tahiti treat, the alcohol version. And so we picked up a couple for nostalgic purposes and no better time to have one than in the summer sun. We're gonna give this a whirl. Oh yeah. So good. Wow. 
I really feel like I'm in Tahiti right now. <laughs> Aruba, Jamaica, ooh, I want to take you to Bermuda, Bahama, come on pretty mama. Killarney, Algonquin, ooh, why don't we go to Woodland Caribou? We'll freeze our asses and get bit by bugs. That's where we want to go. Northern Ontario. Do, do, do. Mm -hmm. We're going to be stars. Tip, when you cut down a tree like this with a lot of branches, don't necessarily trim them all off right away. Trim the amount where you can cut or saw so they're out of the way. And then the other ones will still hold the tree up at a good height where you can saw or cut. And then continue moving down the tree as you go. Today has been an awesome day, swimming, eating some delicious food. I did want to get out fishing, but we've just really been uh, relaxing here today. And um, right around when I wanted to head out, it's just horrible weather kicked up, like blasting wind, threat of thunderstorms, it seems like. So elected to stay and make our pizza calzones and just kind of hang out here. Maybe later this evening, probably not, but I'm excited to eat these delicious calzones with the wild golden chanterelle mushrooms that we picked uh, on the Portage Trail on the way here. So still a bit of a wild meal. We're not eating fish, but we are eating some wild ed edibles. So that's exciting. Camp calzones. 
straight out of Italy, just the way old Mama Luigi used to make. And we got a bella here for with for the camp calzones. We're gonna take one pita, throw it down. A little pizza sauce. Mmm, looks good. Let me see those tongs to tong tong tongs. Yeah. Yummy. Is it good? Very good. Oh, crunchy. Mm. So good. A north wind is blowing in. And it's really windy. One of the downsides of this island, I'd say. Woo! The weather has taken a turn for the worst, but it's better that it's like this now than during the day when we were basking and enjoying the summer sun. That is true. Uh, so I'll take this, but now I have a snuggly sweater on, but it doesn't matter the weather. Here at Gam Gam's Calzones slash pizzas, we still bake you a pie no matter the weather. Oh yeah. Uh huh. Heather's enjoying her calzone. So good. Jay, if you owned a pizza calzone shop, what would you name it? Jay's Pizza. Yeah. JBT. What does it stand for? Jay's better than Ted. <laughs> I'd probably go with something real original like Pizza Pizza. Pizza Pizza. <laughs> calzone Calzone. I would name mine Campfire Calzones. Papa Luigi's half ass pizza. None of this is making the video. Yes, it is. Oh, we are in the tent, all ready for bed. Absolutely beautiful day. Just enjoy taking this day off here at camp. Um, gorgeous island so nice just swimming and cooking up all that delicious food uh, my favorite for sure was that whole charcuterie board that heather put together with the brie didn't get out fishing but uh but that's fine you know it was just really nice to relax uh for a change and we had plenty to eat as well so you know we'll do a bit of fishing tomorrow we are just going to uh hit the sack and Looking forward to tomorrow. Should be a really pretty paddle. Catch you then, and good night. Good night. Good night. Okay.
making cowboy coffee today. Pour the grounds right in the rolling boil. There we go. Hit it with a little dash of cold water here. Let it help the ground sink to the bottom. Good morning. Absolutely beautiful day. Thankfully, that horrific wind we got last night died. It uh, it ended up dying just a little bit before we went to bed. But yeah, pretty brutal wind and nowhere to really take shelter from it. Oh my God, that's one of those giant hornets. <laughs> those thick yellow ones. We're going to leave camp today and we got a beautiful meandering paddle um, uh, stretch that uh, we're really looking forward to and uh, couldn't have a better day not too hot but not chilly so so nice All right, well, we're all packed up now, ready to hit the water. This campsite was just absolutely gorgeous. We've stayed here uh, more than a couple of times now, and I'm starting to think it's gonna be an annual thing. It's just a beautiful island campsite. It's got absolutely gorgeous views, 360 all around. It's got some nice tent spots, really nice fireplace, everything you want in a campsite, really. And I'm already looking forward to coming back again. Yay. <laughs> Mm -hmm. It's been fun. Can you Perfect. break that? Jay's really Bella strong. Out. Bella out. Bella out. Oh, wow, Jay. Incredible Hulk. The iron ore in that. Make some swords. Yo, I can't ever decide whether these things are good up higher or down low. Down low. Oh. Nice catch, Ted. Yeah. That's a muskrat house right there. Oh yeah, that's cool. Very pretty stretches of lake and meandering river here. It's amazing how much water there is just interconnecting waterways. So it almost feels like there's just no direction you can't paddle when you're in the water. Truly really a canoe tripper's paradise. just pulled over here and we are having a bite to eat some yummy peanut butter pitas some fruit roll-ups beautiful day what a pretty meandering little stretch it was through there 
Um, didn't see any animals, but it's just, I don't know, it's just gorgeous. Um, kingfisher. Sandpiper. Sandpiper and a kingfisher. That's right. The well, sandpipers are cute, eh? Mm -hmm. I like how it's just going to hop around all, along on the mud. Like. Yeah. <laughs> just approaching a portage here. It's not that big, but. <laughs> Good size for a garter. It's pretty big. Oh, Mr. Snake. Hope you have a wonderful day. All right, let's see some movement. Yoink! Oh, I was expecting him to go further. The beef jerky bell. Good girl. Thank you for carrying that. Mm. Good girl. Woo. Portage done. Like stressful carrying things, it hurts. And then as soon as you like get on the water and you just feel that glide, it's just yeah, it's just so relaxing. It's just like oh it's so nice. been an awesome trip with Heather, Jay, and Bella. Nice to get out with Jay and just, uh, you know, do a relaxing camp. And we did about just under 15 kilometers the first day in three portages and about 10 kilometers today. So roughly 25 kilometers with four portages. So a good amount of exercise and it, uh, you know, honestly, it feels good. So um, I think we all had a nice time. It's just my only regret is that it wasn't longer. It was filled with good food, a lot of laughs, picturesque views. We caught some fish. It was a fun little adventure overall. Well, I think maybe we're gonna have to start making this an annual trip. Absolutely. Oh yeah. Yay! Two, three, yeah! Yeah! <laughs> We've done it! We're gonna be stars from that. <laughs>